This minute of Skate the Infinity starts with Adam groaning about how much he hates the rain. And ends with Recky gloating over Adam in the rain. This is minute 17 of episode 11, King vs. Nobody. Number 17, the Spread Eagle. My favourite Chicago reference (laughs) that we always drop on the podcast. That is Infinite Minute, an Anime by Minute podcast where we talk about Skate the Infinity Minute by Minute. I'm Jonathan. I'm Caitlin. um, And we're back. We've got wheels for wet weather. We've got wet weather wheels. And Recky was betting on this. Recky bet on it. Bet, bet on, it. on it, bet on it, bet on it, bet. My second favorite musical reference. <laughs> I'm gonna stop. That's who I am. Uh, saw old Zach the other night. You saw Zach? Yeah, in the Iron Claw. <laughs> oh, I, th- I thought you meant in not real in life. Person. I was like, no. I've seen Zach in real life. Oh, you have? Yeah, when I was like, uh,. I think I was in high school still. I I won tickets to see the premiere of Hairspray at Jam Factory, and wow. he was there with Nikki Blonsky. Wow, what a banger of a flick! Yeah, yeah, so good. I forget right. how much I actually like Hairspray. A really good movie. It's a good musical. show. Good musical. Mm. Tracy Turblad. <laughs> that was my. That was my John Travolta. John, John Travolta. <gasps> Oh my god! You know what? The this is totally. We're already on a t- on a tangent, but I need you to look this up. So okay. <clears throat> there is a uh, the 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 uh, the the pre precursor to Eurovision in mm. uh, Italy is called San Remo, uh, and I got to watch it for the first. Isn't that time a brand of year. pasta? San, I think it is. I think it is San. It could be, yeah, San Remo. Yeah, they are. <laughs> it's the yeah, pasta they are. voice. Amazing. <laughs> it's the pasta monks. San Remo? Did I get that wrong? I don't know. No, did it you? is. It is but... San Remo. I'm almost So it's the song contest and the pasta people. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Anyway, so they, for some reason, I have no idea why, they had John Travolta on as a guest. And they made him do the chicken dance. And it is quite possibly one of the most awkward, hilarious things I've ever seen in my entire life. This year? This year. Just been. A couple of weeks ago. Hi, Emily. Okay. Um, Emily, do you want to see a video of John Travolta doing the chicken dance at the San Remo song contest? Um, I don't know. I feel like I probably have to. I forget. He's like bald and... Okay, this isn't the video I wanted. Unless it is. <laughs> Costumes. I want to be that one. Oh my god, they're all wearing little duck costumes. Gee, oh, she is mad. How these two Italians ruined my reputation. <laughs> the video I'm watching it on is like somebody has obviously tried to avoid the copyright by putting oh, it on a small TV. Oh, okay. But they've got John Travolta doing he looks commentary. better in the video than he does in that photo that they've cut Yeah, he out. does. Yeah, forget John Travolta hey, goes I, hard I, as fuck yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then the next day, they had Russell Crowe on. Oh my god! And, oh, he's had some work done. And and Russell Crowe just like fully made fun of John Travolta for not getting into it because he looks so miserable here. <laughs> How did you find this video? Yeah, uh, yeah. Russ would give it to him, wouldn't he? Yeah, he would. And I was like, that's just classic oh Australian, yeah. New yeah, Zealand. Yeah, because uh, yeah, we, we've claimed him. Russ would have. Russ would have done it. Oh yeah, Russell that's what Crow. he. Oh. That's what that's what he was yeah. making fun of him for. Yeah. Oh, they're wearing. I would have done the like fucking like chicken nothing. dance. <laughs> he looks so mad. I've done the it. chicken dance millions of times at <laughs> weddings, funerals. You're I don't right? fuck around when it comes to the chicken dance. <laughs> All right, Russ. Oh shit. We're immediately off track. Should we talk about skate? Let's talk funny? about Thank skate. Thank you for bringing this video of John Travolta oh, into my life. Oh please, it's so funny. It's so Why? funny. Why was he there? He just was a guest. They just they just got him there as a guest. Weird. Same with Russell Crowe. So they just weird. got him there as a guest. It's so weird. It's so random. Russell sh- Crowe, noted lover of Italian music. Well, he was also in The Pope's Exorcist. 
this True. year as well, doing his Italian accent. So yeah, and driving his little moped. Yeah, yeah, L- yeah. a lover of Italian culture. <laughs> Let's talk about skate. We've gone, we've gone way off track. <laughs> he has to be driving a Vespa, right? Yeah, surely. Yeah. Um, it's right, raining. Emily, are you going to take that cat and close the door? Sorry. Pick her up. Pick her up. <laughs> Vali never does this. <laughs> She's in the other room cooking risotto. <laughs> There's no one else is cooking risotto. Cook I cooked you bag and butter. Yeah, and you <laughs> get out of here. See? Bye, Tia. Now I've got to deal with the aftermath. Cringe. Finally. <laughs> Finally, peace. 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 It's a peace of quiet. Um, it's raining. And um, <laughs> it's raining. It's raining. Um, and David gave such a fun little interpretation of these lines. I cackled. <sighs> How do I despise the rain? How do I despise the rain? Let me count the ways. <laughs> so Incredible. Funny. Very soliloquy. Soliloquiscent? Mmm. If that's not a word, it should be. It should be. I like that. Soliloquiscent. Soliloquy is a beautiful word. I think you just named my daughter. (laughs) (laughs) Soliloquiscent (laughs) Jackalone. You stop writing that heterosexual fan fiction. (laughs) (laughs) I thought I taught you better than this. You get those two boys out. You make them fuck. <laughs> you make it dirty. <laughs> Why do I sound like Jerry Seinfeld? <laughs> and then they bone. <laughs> Gold, Jerry. Oh, uh, how funny. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, it's wet. He talks about the, the deck getting wrecked. Losing mm. his grip. It's not mm. pleasant. It's not conducive for good skating. He hates it. He hates it. I love this shot where he goes, oh, as he oh. like drags the hair out of the face. I love it. The mask looks whack here, by the way. Like they couldn't figure out the right perspective on it. Oh, yeah. The, the mask looks real dodgy. So bizarre. He looks great though. Those angles, oh, that chin, that jawline. Damn, son! It's the dark yeah, nemesis. Was... The dark, dark nemesis, nemesis of hilarious. skateboarding. It's the Sephiroth. Great... Sorry, Pause I'm playing here. a lot of Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> no, it's all right. You're allowed to. You've got a brand new machine to play it on. Is it any I better? Do. Have you noticed a market difference? Katie got a PS5. I got a PS5. Right? Everybody. Um, <laughs> it. Uh, uh, I wouldn't say I no- have noticed the difference, but I think if you put the scene side by side, I would notice the difference, if that makes sense. Mm, it does. It yeah. Does. yeah. Um, most people say the main difference between the PS4 version and the PS5 version is like the lighting and some right. of the like texture textures. Um, okay. So I think unless I was like actually comparing the two, I wouldn't really notice it, mm. you know? Same age, same yeah, income. Same, exactly. We're in War Market at the moment, though, and I'm so excited for Valentina to see the uh, the honeybee scene. Oh, you're playing together. Well, I'm That's playing cool. and she's watching. Yeah, nice. The classic, the classic relationship. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Emily and I are playing uh, plate up at the moment. So we're going. To oh, have a is that like similar to Undercooked? Uh, overcooked, even. Oh, overcooked. Um, whoops. <laughs> Undercooked, Undercooked, the prequel to Overcooked, <laughs> God damn. where we find out more about the Onion King. Um, oh my god! Yeah, no, yeah tell me is. the backstory. It is, it is, it is similar to Overcooked. Nice. Um, played up. Um, it is good. It's, it's. It was close to breaking up the marriage, but now Ooh. Emily understands the differences between it and Overcooked. <laughs> um, it's going well. Okay. Um, we've had a failed. Uh, what was the first one? I can't remember the first one. A failed something restaurant, and then we had a failed salad restaurant. Oh, no. And now at the moment we've got a pizza restaurant, and it's going okay. Okay. 
It yeah. hasn't failed yet. It's, that's it's good. That's fun. good. No, it hasn't failed. Um, and we're, we're both getting the hang of it. I'm the maid of D. I go and wait the tables, and Ooh. Emily does the cooking. So to be to be fair, Emily probably has the harder job. Yes. Yes. Um, I reckon the cooking is the more stressful job, whereas okay. I just go and talk to people and put napkins and cutlery on uh, tables. It's much more like I don't know, hands on. That sounds cook, fun. Yeah, it's good fun. Um, Game what, Pass. What uh, Game what Pass. platform? Oh. It'll be on PS5, I reckon. It might be one of those um, free ones, like uh, on the PS Network or something, if you're willing to pay their I'm exorbitant PS Plus prices. It's on Nintendo Switch. There you go. It's on Switch. It's on Switch. Oh, it sounds good. I will think about it. I did just yeah, spend a lot fun. of money on a PS5, so. You did, yeah. So probably no new game for you for a while. Ooh. Do you have the PSN? Sorry. Big tangents. Do you have the PSN uh, subscription? I can't remember. Probably. Okay. I don't know. I can't remember. Vale would be able to play Death Stranding, I think. I don't think it's free anymore. Oh, just on the console. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure it's it on out. the PSN uh, subscription. I'll check it out. Yeah. Cool. Anyway, should we talk skate. about this fucking minute of skate? Let's talk about skate. <laughs> to be entirely honest, we were probably going to have to stretch this out anyway because not really much happens. No. I mean, Adam said it. It's a tragically boring race. <laughs> yes. It's boring. But this is an He's exciting having... bit. This is exciting. I think it's like yeah. fun. It's definitely fun to see Adam falter mm. uh, and be under pressure. Like you can really see it. <laughs> Yeah, the face he makes. When yeah. He's like, when he's no bueno on the, no on the skateboard. No bueno. He's in so, on such an awkward angle as well. Mm. And then he gets a really good look at Reki's wheels and we get this Persona 5 cutaway. So cool. And the music changes yeah. like on the moment he skids across. It's so cool. Hypes up so uh, much. Tadashi can't believe it. Lunga also can't believe it, but in the other way, he's smiling. Oh, that was weird. A weird shot of Kau- the back of Kauri's head because it looks like he's got his uh, balaclava on. Oh, let me see that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Goose. them recycling uh, an earlier shot. Goose and mm. gaffs. Nice Goose and gaffs. So I had the thought, do these wet weather wheels exist? Probably everyone who loves this show already knows this, but they do. They do. Um, and they almost look like they're pretty much exactly the brand that um, I've found. So I found like a full uh, diagram of the Rain Wheels guide for this brand called Harfang is the brand. Oh. Uh, and each different type of Rain Wheel has its own benefits. Oh, so there's subsets of rain wheels. Yeah, so there's one with normal grooves. Uh, Pattern is free and better than nothing, but will not match our rain wheels for performance and look, the traditional wheel. Then there's stage one, stage two, stage three, and stage four, and they all have different varying like advantages in the rain. Um, and it looks like the one that Reki is using is most likely the stage one wheel. Ooh, it's the okay. all-round rain wheel, and the first one you should have in your quiver. Works mm. great in straight and sideways progressive edges and provides lots of water removal. Very cool. Pretty cool. Um, but I will, I will, I will link this in the show notes if anyone wants to have a little squizzy. Um, it's pretty interesting. Here's it's my question cool diagram. about rain mm-hmm. wheels: Is mm. <laughs> do you do you go like I'm just going to keep them in my pocket just in case it starts raining and then you switch them over? Or do you right. go, it could rain today, I'm just going to go out in the rain wheels? Or do you just risk it for the biscuit and you go, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, does it? Does anyone purposefully go out and skateboard when it's raining? Yeah, I would think if you're like a professional skateboarder and you see it's raining, you're getting in the car and driving to an indoor uh, skate place right. that's close to you. Yeah. Right. Interesting. Yeah. I wonder if there is like an indoor skate area in Melbourne. There would have to be, right? Surely. People, People do things in Melbourne. Yeah. They'd have like the big half pipey things and stuff, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, anyway, I'll grab this link now. Chuck it in my little, chuck it in my uh, show notes. And then I'd, I'd save myself a little job later on. <laughs> I love that for me. They also have these cool wheels um, where... They have, they're called a Roman candle. 
Oh. This is the same brand, Harfang, and they've got like metal rods embedded in the wheel so that when you like slide and skate with the wheel, sparks come up. Oh my god. Yeah, so you can get that like legit thing of like that the anime basically does, which yes. is like the sparks flying up, yeah. Oh, that's Pretty terrifying. Cool. Mm. <laughs> yeah, Harfang Roman candle wheels. Oh my god. I'd be so cool. I'm surprised no one has them on here. Yeah. Well I, I love that these wheels actually exist and they like did the research and found this one that um that exists in real life. It's kinda nice. I do, I love that too. And yeah. it has a real purpose that's, you know I mean, it's a little bit What's of it? a duex machina again in this situation. But yeah. you know, like if the if it hadn't rained, Ricky would have would have no chance in this. Oh, if, he would have been toasted. I mean? Yeah, he would have been yeah. absolutely slammed. Yeah. But it's still fun. Yeah. yeah, it is. It's giving him a chance to show off his strength, which is knowledge about skateboards. Yeah, it's giving character development. <laughs> it's giving character development. <laughs> <laughs> it's giving season. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that floating I did. around at Christmas. <laughs> I did. All the terminally online games. Yeah. <laughs> it's oh. season. I do love this shot where Adam is, like, looking at the wheels uh, really close up and you can see them, like, working, basically, like, mm. going through the water. Uh, I almost said more better, which is correct. the correct English here. More better. Uh, more better than Adam's wheels. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's just really fun to watch him sort of think that it's a fluke but then realise that it's not, like he actually planned this. Yeah. Uh, that's where he said, uh, tricky boy. <laughs> I love that. We also missed Curse this slop. Oh, well. gosh, there were so many good little throwaways in this. Yeah, Curse this slop. <laughs> yeah, nice. The grooves on the wheels. We get the nice close-up, just in case we forgot, a flashback to earlier in the episode. Just flashback to just a few minutes earlier. Yep, our favourite. I love how, like, surprised they all are. They're like, oh, that's why he was so bad in the first half. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. it all makes sense now. <laughs> oh, Ricky wasn't just sucking. <laughs> we just thought he was shit because he's shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, and- it has to be said, Joe and Mia look so hype here. They're so happy. Oh, their faces are very cute. The, the, their boy, Recky, is nailing it. Except maybe Kauri. Kauri's just kind of, well, he's cute, but he's like, yeah. huh? All of their faces are so baby in this show. Oh, yeah. So baby. baby boys. Oh, they're cute. He knew there was a possibility of rain? Yeah, man. Look at him and go. Yeah, Ricky bet on it. To be fair, he's not that far ahead. No, but he's he's no. doing it a lot easier. Far enough ahead. He's ahead and he's not struggling compared to yeah. Adam. Yeah. Who is shaky. Um, like, it should be said that every time Adam mm. is shown, he's, like, got the shaky cam on him. He's got the baby gear. Have you seen the clip? Sorry to tangent. One more time before the end of this. Ep- right. We're so close. Let's We're three it. seconds to go. Have you seen the clip of Boomy and Aang? fighting in the live action avatar oh uh no was there a new thing posted it's very short it's like a it's like a maybe a 30 second clip of boomy and ang fighting and everyone's like if (laughs) i thought we said we weren't gonna make this as bad as them (laughs) oh no uh i'll send it to you it's not great Oh no! Yeah. Shame. I've been off Twitter a bit lately, so oh, I haven't seen it. Oh, you're off again. Yeah, that week off really just like built the habit of not feeling the need to go on at every single minute of every single nice. day. It really I get did. It. it worked. Yeah, I've had a few yeah. things where I was like addicted to stuff like that, and then I've gone to a music festival and I haven't been able, like, I've had no reception, mm, and mm. and then you just don't feel the need to do, use it as much when you come back. No. And I've kind of been off it for so long. I went back on today for like maybe 10 minutes and I'm just like, why Why is everyone on this platform doing Madam Web's promotional? Like, why is everyone doing promotion for this movie? 
<laughs> like it's a bad movie, but everyone is just like, oh, Madam Web, Madam Web, Madam Web. And I'm like, it makes me think again that this is all people getting paid to do this. Yeah, I know. Like, um, but it did inspire an idea for a uh, play script. So thank you. Madam oh, Web. I love that. I can't wait to beta yeah, it for you. Specifically, <laughs> <laughs> specifically that bit. In the trailer where they broke the 180 rule and it looked like she was saving herself from Stop the car it. crash. I, I, it's so <laughs> funny. It's so funny. I w- had to watch it like 12 times to work out what was going on because I just like, this yeah, can't be me real. Because it was her, but it didn't look. I didn't think it was her, but it was her. But it gave me this idea for like someone who uh, finds themselves in a car crash, but they're not in the car crash. And then they have to like uh, reckon with their own death kind of thing. Oh. But, or did they die? They don't know. They're like having a kind of breaking the 180 rule hallucination or yeah i love that um, yeah yeah the 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 kernel of an idea I came love about that. So, thank you madam webb but i'm not a fan of everyone doing its promotional material for it no no i know what you mean <laughs> yeah and they're not even like blue ticks they're not even making any money off it directly from twitter so i hope they're making bank somewhere else for making threads about this movie that looks trash they always they'll, they're just posting one comment on the original post saying go check out my thing yeah right <laughs> go check out my dc podcast yeah, that's what you do when you go viral isn't it <laughs> we tried it with the sonic one <laughs> it didn't work <laughs> i don't know if it worked <laughs> but we love our loyal fans we do. Uh, who do listen to us regardless of our funny sonic uh yeah name. we do we do oh yeah. bless um what was your favorite moment caitlin um Probably the little moment where, oh, actually, how do I count the ways? That was really funny. Mm. That made me laugh a lot. But the moment where he skidded and the music went really hype and then we get the persona mm. moment, that was really fun yeah. too. Yeah. Love that. that was great. Yeah. yeah. You? Uh, we did talk about it too much, but I loved the music. Yeah, nice. In this minute. It's really like it is Ricky in a way, like the, the music coming mm. in like that and like uh, building the scene, it it is like Ricky's rhythm now that Adam's falling into. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, it's nice. The tides have turned. But yeah, good minute. Um, we didn't have much to say about it. Weirdly, good minute. But- there wasn't like whilst it was like there was some fun stuff happening. There was also kind of not anything yeah. happening. They're still just. I feel skating. like if you kept watching the show like uh, intended, <laughs> it would have been good. <laughs> Instead, we had to kind of stop halfway through. Yeah, exactly. But whatever. Whatever. That's what we do to ourselves. Um, if you want to tweet at us, even though I won't see it probably, you can. You can. It's infinite underscore minute. Oh, does this mean X. I have to check the Twitter now? Or you can email us at infinite minute podcast at gmail.com. If you like. Bye. Go see, <laughs> go see my play at Mold House in five years. <laughs> uh, it won't happen. Uh, bye. <laughs>